Understanding capacitors. Imagine a capacitor as a tiny supercharged battery. It has two metal plates separated by a small distance D. Keep in mind that capacitors are electrically neutral. This means that for every positive charge in the capacitor, there is an equal amount of negative charge as well. However, in our presentation here, we will only show the conventional direction of current. Let's imagine we connect a 9 volt battery to a capacitor. Here's what happens step by step. As soon as the connection is made, the battery starts hustling positive charges from one plate to the other. Each little charge, DQ, needs some help from the battery to make the journey across. Initially, at the start, the capacitor's potential is zero volt. While our battery is a solid nine volt, the first few charges move easily. But as more charges pile up, the capacitor's plates start pushing back, building up potential energy in the capacitor. These excess positive charges naturally want to flow back to balance the charges. Think of it like many positive charges being forcefully compressed in one place. However, if we replace the battery with a bulb, the charges will flow back to their neutral state through the circuit. The capacitor will then function like a tiny battery, causing the bulb to glow for a while and then quickly discharge.